the exercise of the spirit man is fruitless if your spirit is not free and does not have any weight. The Bible talks about the inward man and the outward man. Now, we have preached and we will keep preaching the same thing, but we are changing it small, small, so that we can accommodate your understanding. The reason I'm saying this is that we've always said man is a spirit, man has a soul, and man lives in a body. That statement is partly true, but part of it looks untrue or is not full truth. Because this is what we call the lesser light and the greater light. The Bible says the lesser light rule the day and the greater light rule the night. So it's not really untrue, but it does not have the intensity of revelation that it requires for our understanding. What am I trying to say? We said man is a spirit, he has a soul, he's in a body. Yes, it looks true. But when you look at man, the formation of man, he actually does not have three parts. Man has two parts. Man has the inward man and the outward man. The inward man is the spirit with his soul. The soul is part of of the spirit. Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 talks about the inward man and the outward man. The soul is the gate of the spirit man to the physical realm and at the same time is the entrance of the, of the physical realm to the spirit realm. If, if you are to be delivered fully and demons don't you know, attack you again, the place of the soul has to be handled. Man is a spirit in nature, whether he's born again or not. And if the soul is used properly, the spirit will release power. Whichever way. You see, the soul is part of the spirit. The soul comprises of your mind, your will, your emotions, your attitudes, your mindsets, your beliefs, all these are comprised in the soul. The soul. Now, listen. When God wants to touch your physical life, because God is a spirit, he cannot touch your physical life. He is a spirit. Okay? Are we together? And this, this helps you to remove your mind from the teaching that God will do it. I just know God will do it. It's a lie. It's a lie. You, there is always a modus operandi through which things leave heaven to affect us. When God wants to touch your physical life, your finances, your health, your whatnot, your whatnot, him being a spirit, he cannot touch your physical life directly. His contact with your life is your spirit. So what God will do, he will touch your spirit, not your body, not your physical life. Now, that touch is life. That touch is power. That touch is what? Is reality. But that touch cannot reach your physical life unless your soul grants it permission. Your soul is a bridge between what is spirit and what is physical. Your soul. So anything that will leave heaven and comes to your spirit must pass through your soul in order to be in your physical life. 